Hello YouTube, Chris Word. Today I'm going to answer the question is, when should I take professional advice if my company is starting to struggle? Really simple question and a really simple answer straight away. The sooner that you reach out and get some advice about what's going on, the more options you're going to have available to you as a company. So. I'm just giving to give you a couple of ideas of the type of inquiries that we're getting right now. Number one is I've taken a bounce back loan. I don't think I'm going to be able to pay it back. Number two, the change in IR35 uh, means that I'm either going to have to get a job so I don't need my company anymore or I need to close my lim limited company now because I've got no, no, no use for it. Um, number three, my company has got lots of HMR series. I don't know what to do about it. I, I can't keep up with my time to pay arrangement that I um, that I that I agreed to. I've spent my bounce back loan and I've got no money to liquidate my company. Um, my job is to help you understand your position exactly. We're not going to see things worse than they are. We're going to see things as they are. And we need to walk through what different options you've got available. Is your company viable? Um, will it be viable when when we get through this uh, the, the, these restrictions and you can get out there, open your doors and start to trade again? Um if the business needs to be liquidated, are there any pitfalls? Are there any implications for you, the director, should you have to close the business? Would you be better off restructuring the company and starting again? Um, if you do need to close the company, can you make a claim for redundancy? I, I had a chap call me last week. He's got an IR35 company. He's not really got any money to liquidate. We assessed his redundancy claim. Uh, and, and, and his redundancy claims nearly £9,000. So he can pay the liquidator's fees and he's still going to have money in his pocket. So yeah, the average claim for redundancy is £9,000. So it's always worth checking whether you can make that claim. Um, can you negotiate with HMRC? You, you know, if you're struggling with HMRC areas, have a chat with me and I will tell you how to negotiate with them and i'll tell you listen you can, i think you can get two years to pay hmr series at the moment it's unheard of it's going to give you breathing space now let me just dispel a myth if you reach out to, to someone like first business rescue it does not mean you need to close your company i would say 95 percent of the inquiries that we receive result in people not having to close the company, not having to liquidate. So don't think by reaching out to somebody like us that you're committed and you're putting the final nail in the coffin of the company. That's not the case. You're looking at your options and you'll feel better for reaching out. But one thing, we've helped hundreds of company directors uh, over the past couple of years. One thing that they all have in common, they wish they'd have spoken to us sooner. So if you like what we have to say, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, drop some comments in the section below. Thank you for your time. Have a great week. It's Chris Worden. I'm from Fit. Goodbye.